Good day, you beautiful people. It is I, the Q, here for you. On the last day of January 2017. Now, I've been promising this video for a while, and uh, I wanted to research it myself properly uh, before I did this video. And the name of this video is, What is Osteogenesis Imperfecta? Well, it is the disability that I was born with. Osteogenesis Imperfecta means osteo as in bones, genesis as in genetic, and imperfecta meaning imperfect. Uh, I don't know why the A is on the end, but it is. I always say osteo meaning bones, genesis meaning genetic, imperfecta meaning all fucked up. And basically what it means is that my bones break very easily and that is because my body doesn't form a certain type of collagen called collagen 1. And that collagen is what actually binds the bones together and actually gives it that hardening form and actually uh, without your body producing that, your body's uh, brittle and weak and the bone structure doesn't form as densely as you'd like. And uh, it sort of has a problem with the connective tissue. Um, it is inherited from one parent to the other. Um, sorry, or one person in the family. Um, it is not usually inherited by both. Um, there's no cure for it, other than that um, there have been medical advances in a thing called biphosphonates. And biphosphonates are a, a type of um, thing that actually promotes your brain to produce more of the uh, collagen that is needed to harden the bones. It doesn't actually um, create collagen, it actually just promotes your body to wake that part of your brain up and uh, create more uh, bone structure in uh, collagen or connective tissue. Now there are eight types of um, osteogenesis imperfecta. They can be quite um, mild as in a few people may have only a few broken bones in their lifetime or they can be the more severe like mine whereas I've had over 560 fractures uh, in my life. Um, there is quite a history of uh, osteogenesis imperfecta. Um, some very well known uh, people have had it. Um, one of them, one of the most famous being Napoleon Bonaparte, uh, he had it. Um, it's estimated that uh, around 50,000 people in the United States are affected by this disease and nearly a uh, half a million around the world. Um, for some unknown reason, uh, Zimbabwe has the highest proportion of OI type 3, which is my type 3. Um, and also uh, in segments of Nigeria and South Africa. Um, there is 
foundations and societies for osteogenesis imperfecta around the world. There is no um, life expectancy difference um, to uh, everyday people than there is with um, people with osteogenesis imperfecta, but uh, I will say that our lives do become shortened simply for the fact of the amount of broken bones we go through. Um, yeah, uh, people have asked me about um, osteogenesis imperfecta and what I, uh, how many broken bones I've had and the type of what it's all about, so this video has been for you. Um, I hope it's been helpful. I hope you get an understanding of uh, what sort of um, scientific reasons there are for it. Um, so yeah, uh, just sharing my knowledge on to all of you. I hope you're well, I hope you're having a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video.